air for now in its eighth season. This cookbook has 388 recipes. It's a big, thick book because it has every recipe from every one of the Cook's Country shows from seasons one through eight. And because we're in season eight, a few of those episodes in season eight have not aired yet, but the recipes are in here. How you doing? Already, we have taken orders for two thousand of these. Last year when we brought in seasons one through seven, it sold out. Now we've got seasons one through eight and we have a really special guest joining us from the show and Julia Davison is back with us. Hello, my friend. So nice to see you. Wonderful to see you. You are a walking food encyclopedia. <laughs> and that's just one of the things we love about you. I'll take this it. is an amazing book. Oh. We love this book because like all your shows mm -hmm. and all of your recipes, you do the hard work for That's us right. and make us pros in the kitchen. That's right. We make the mistakes so you don't have to. And we test recipes like this casserole mac and cheese. This is a potluck version meant to travel, meant to stay gooey. Okay, so and this is trick. designed to make in advance and right. to stay creamy look, even after you arrive at the potluck. Look how gooey that is. You know how often it sets up and you cut it like lasagna? This is still gooey. And the trick is... What kind of cheese you use? Two kinds of cheese, American and Monterey Jack. Oh, but, you have American in here. Uh, yes, we do, because wow. that stays uh, liquidy a bit longer after it's baked. And also, some evaporated milk. You and know what? That, I and love that prevents milk. the sauce, you know, the, cre the cheese sauce from breaking. And it also helps it keep nice and creamy while it travels, while it sits. Ooh. And it's just good. Mm. With the breadcrumbs on top, a mm -hmm. little bit of butter. I know, it's the perfect mac and cheese. <laughs> Happy dance! <laughs> happy dance! That's some mac and cheese happy dance. I gotta get some room for this one. Yeah, oh. Happy, 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 happy. This one is amazing. I've it's had good. this before. It's yeah. Awesome. It's good. It's a really great recipe, especially if so you want to make yummy. it ahead and then heat it up. It'll still be creamy, and that's hard to do. Mm. It took us a lot of tests mm. to figure out how to do that. That oh. is so delightful. Mm, I'm going to keep you eating. Can you please talk to me about strawberry pie? Oh, Did it's... you hear what I said off the top of the show? I wanted to live inside the pie shell. <laughs> I was going to set up a little, so a, a little cot in there just so I could live there forever. But so... I want everyone to know that this is not just whipped topping. This no. is something special. There's a little cream cheese in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> it goes so well with the strawberry. Y'all need to stop. So <laughs> when we first tried this recipe, a lot of them were really thick and overly set up, like eating jello. What we did is we made essentially our own jello using frozen frozen berries and a little gelatin and then we stirred in the fresh berries. Isn't that the best you've ever had? Isn't that yes. good? I know. Yes. I know. Yeah. I can eat the whole of this pie by and myself. And you can taste the cream cheese and the whipped topping. Just enough. You know, so many times, and I'm sorry, with strawberry pie, the whipped topping seems to be a throwaway. Yep. Because it ends up just kind of being fluffy and, mm. and just something slopped on top. This makes the pie yeah. perfect. And it tastes like strawberries. Because we use both Boy, frozen and fresh. I know. I can plow through Julia, a piece of that Julia, this so quickly. is amazing. It, it is. It's really good. It took us over 50 mm. pies to get this combination just You've right. You've tested this, this oh, recipe yeah. 50 Happily. times. Happily. Now, in the beginning, it was like rubber because a lot of those recipes, they're over set up, but this is good. Let me show everyone real quickly. There is a color photo. Give me some high five on this. Every recipe. Color photo with every recipe. Mm -hmm. And several of the recipes, many of the recipes, have what we call progressive photos. So you'll know how it looks here, here, and here. Well, this is actually a different situation. This is popover, popovers gone wrong. Yep. But giving you lots of information. I keep your cookbooks on my countertop. As references. Oh, yep. I keep them on my countertop as a cooking Bible for mm -hmm. me because what it does is it gives me great direction. I never ever worry about a Cook's Country or America's Test Kitchen recipe because I know they have been tested umpteen times. Yep. Look at these gorgeous photos and great tips on ingredients, the best kind to use, the best. Mm -hmm. The ones that behave the best in the recipe. Can we talk baked manicotti with oh, meat sauce? So good. You know the trick to that? What's that? Use no boil noodles. And no roll boil them. noodles. So it it's even faster. Easier to, yeah, and it's easier to fill them. Skillet lasagna. Mm. Okay, this is going wild, crazy fast. Duchess potatoes. Oh, old school. They're so good. Yes. Well, you know, and that's what Cook's Country is about. It's bringing back those old recipes that we don't want to forget, those regional recipes that everyone should know how to make. Okay, here's the story. Beer battered on your oh, rings. How are you doing? Those are the bomb. Okay, now let me talk to you about the book. Um, 
we brought 10,000 books in for the show. Mm -hmm. They're half gone. Okay. And I've got 3,000 people on the phone lines. That's a lot of people. This book is amazing. It's good. Oh my it's gosh. Good. It's I hold it with both arms because <laughs> I don't want anyone to take it from me. This all is right. all the food you kind of want to eat. You this know is, what I mean? Now, this is David's food. This is, this is comfort yeah. food. Um, now, this is baked ziti. In a slow cooker. There's a handful of slow cooker recipes in the book. So, slow cooker. Okay. Yeah. And the trick, of course, it has a little bit of um, sausage in there for flavor and tomatoes. But the trick, when you do pasta in the slow cooker, mm -hmm. it often turns mushy on you and disintegrates. Not mm. here, because we toast the pasta with the sausage in a pot before you put it in there. And by toast, dry pasta? yes, you put the dry pasta in with the sausage that's As cooking. As it's browning? That's right, and you brown and toast the pasta itself. No way! Yes, and then you put it in here, and that prevents it from turning mushy. I never would have thought I of that. I know. Well, Not you know, ever. Yeah, well, that's we made enough of these where the pasta was mushy to know how to do it right. That's crazy. Isn't Gordon. that good? And Julia, we're we're so close to selling this okay. out. Okay, one um, last. Let me give one quick update, and then I'm going to go after oh. it, the eclair pie. Is that uh, what that yeah, is? Yeah, eclair cake. I'm going to join you on cake. this one. All right, please. Um, here's the story. We started with 10,000 books. I have 3,200 books left, and over 3,000 people on the phone lines. So we're going to have to do this quickly. Eclair cake. Okay. Okay. So. So graham cracker. A graham cracker. It has a homemade uh, vanilla pudding and whipped cream center with a little okay. chocolate on top. One uh -huh. of my all-time favorite desserts. Mm -hmm. It's so. It's a no-bake dessert, so it's perfect for summer. Are you kidding me? Mm. All right, Miss Julia, mm -mm -mm. I need you to put that plate down mm -mm. and get your hands in the air, girl. Oh, yeah. You go that way, I'll go this way. All right, ready? Happy dance, happy dance. Mm. Woo! I'm so glad I Woo. ate that cake. Um, let's get a little hip action in it. Boom. That's my girl. All right. <clears throat> Those are good. I'm going to continue right, to eat this. All right, please, because we are super busy on the phone lines. Mm. I will tell you, the crew, if you guys do all, eat all this food up, I'm going to oh. come find you <laughs> and I'm going to make sure you all eat. Mm. Um, Hey, before we wrap up, I need to give you a quick update. Oh, it just sold out. Okay. I wanted to taste the crust on the chicken. Yeah. Oh, the Latin fried chicken marinated with a little lime and cumin before you deep fry so it? So good. Amazing. Okay. Um, I have a trivia question for you. Shoot. Okay. I love these. I know. She she always gets them right. No pressure. No, I know. I was like, right. I gear up for this. All right. This is true or false. Okay. We're making my milkshake.